Hello everybody and welcome to Keyboard Games Book A. Today we're going to be looking at The Green Caterpillar, which is on page 25. We're going to start with the hello song. piano bench out of the way. And I think I'm going to move this just a little bit so you don't get quite so much light from the window. Okay, so while I do this song, would you please move your elbows? When I repeat the song, would you change directions? Can you help me sing the resting tone? Ba. Now we're going to do some tonal patterns in minor. La, mi, mi, fa, mi, re, do, ti, si, la. I'm going to sing them, and would you sing them back to me? La, do, mi. La, do, mi. Mi, re, ti. C, T, me. C, T, me. Me, do, la. Me, do, la. All right, now I'm going to do a chant called balloons. Would you please, with your family, whoever you're doing this with at home, would you please sit on the floor and you're going to make a train. I'm going to take my book down here so I can see the chant. You can still see me? Perfect. I'm going to go sideways. And we're going to lean forward and backward for our macro beats. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Can you keep making your train and echo me, please? Do da dee do, do da dee do, do do da dee, do do da dee, do da dee do da dee, do do, do do, do da 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 dee da do, do da 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 dee da do, do da da dee do, do da da dee do, do da dee da do, do da dee da do. Do da da dee do da dee do da da dee do da dee. For our next song, we're going to do mixed breed. Would you please help me to a bound dance for your two fists? It kind of feels like you've got big rubber bands that are attached to your fists, and you have that little bit of energy that it takes to push against those rubber bands. Here we go. sing the resting tone. Bum, bum. Now we're going to do Scotty. Can you help me do a light crooked dance using your arms and pretty gentle body movement? And help me sing the resting tone. We're going to do 
do some activities now that are helping us to prepare for our song that we're learning to play today, which is called the Green Caterpillar. All right, so we're gonna practice a move for the first half of the song. Would you take your hands way up above your heads? We're gonna make a slide. We're gonna slide down, and then we're gonna turn around at the end of the phrase. Now, I can't do the move and play at the same time. So I'm gonna describe the movement while I play. Remember, we're starting up here, slide down, turn around. Are you ready? Here we go. Start up. slide again, slide down, and then we're going to bounce at the bottom. Let's try one more time. Start up, slide down, bounce at the bottom. Now I'm going to show you with our second phrase. Here's our second phrase or second part of the song. Start up, slide down, bounce at the bottom. Let's do it one more time. Start up, of the song that we did. Are they the same as each other or are they different? The slide down, turn around, which sounds like this. And then the second part, slide down, bounce at the bottom, sounds like this. Each other. They start out the same way, but then they end differently. So would you please go ahead and just roll your arms in a big circle while I play the piece and notice those parts that are different and the parts that are the same. and play the piano at the same time. Should I try? I'll try. Okay, let's roll our arms one more time. I'll see if I can do it. Ah, it worked. All right, so now we're gonna practice making a caterpillar out of your hand. Are you ready for this? I'm going to hold my arm here. You're going to use your tall finger, which is your middle finger. I'm using my right hand. You, somebody can help you find which hand that is. So I'm going to use that finger and move it down my arm like that finger is a caterpillar moving across my hand. My other fingers are just kind of hanging out. And as we do it, we're going to whisper. Do da dee, do da dee, do da dee, do da dee. Can you do that with me? Do da dee, do da dee, do da dee, do da dee. This time, I'm going to play the whole piece. Can you just listen carefully? Just listen for the ending of the piece while I play. I'm going to stop before the ending and I'm going to have you chant or sing the ending with me. I think we'll sing it first. chant 
step that ending is going to be do da di do. Let's just chant the ending. Do da di do. That's how our piece is going to end. Now, this time I'm going to play the piece. I'm going to stop before the ending. Can you help me sing the resting tone on ba when we get to the end of the piece? do some more moves. I'm going to chant grasshoppers. Oh, no, I'm not. I forgot something. What did I forget? I forgot to have us review playing stuck. Stuck is our piece that we learned last time. This is in your, you can't see, this is backwards. It occurred to me at some point that this is a mirror image. So anyway, this is page 24 in your book. And so for stuck, you're gonna see the pictures of your hands, see where your hands go. One of them's gonna be an S1, one of them's gonna be an S2. That talks about where your first hand starts, where your second hand starts. And remember that the page that you're seeing is probably backwards from the page that I'm seeing. If you see stuck, see how it's written backwards like that? That's so funny. So look in your own book on page 24, and then you can see where your hands go. So find your spot. On the keyboard, you can count your sets of two black keys to figure out where you go. One, two, there's one hand, and then one more is going to be where your other hand goes. And I'm going to put the S1 right on those white keys, one in one hand and one in the other hand. And then here's how it goes. one more time and I'm going to chant do daddies before I start to play so it's going to make it a little bit easier to follow do daddy do ready play do daddy do daddy do daddy do daddy so notice the white key and then the black keys that are on either side of that white key you can try playing that at home, and if you have any trouble, we'll work on that together when we have our group class check. All right, now we're going to do some more moves. I'm going to chant something called grasshoppers. So while I get it open here, what I'd like you to do is to swing your arms back and forth while we sing the song. You can swing forwards and backwards, or you can swing side to side you can kind of move your whole upper body. So you figure out which way you want to swing your arms while we chant. I'm going to go back and forth. Do day. Oops, not on due days, on bum. Bum 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 Did you hear the grasshoppers hopping? in this song. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to move my arms the other way. And would you listen for the grasshoppers hopping? Bum 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 ba ba bum ba ba bum 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 ba 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 bum ba 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 bum 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 This time I'm going to have you move your arms again. Either way you choose but can you echo back the patterns that I do? Feet, feet, here we go. Do day do, do day do, do day do day, do day do day, do do, do do, do do day, do do day. Next one, do to day to do, do to day to do, do day to do. Do day to do, do to day do, do to day do, do to day to do day, do to day to do day. 
Now I'm gonna sing a song called Down Came a Lady. Can you please take one arm, you're gonna move it in a big circle for our first half of the song. I'll go like this so you can see the big circle. Then for the second half, can you move your other arm in a big circle? So two big circles, they're gonna be kind of slow for the song. Do, so, 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 funny, day, ti, do. Bum, ba, ba, bum, 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 bum. Bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, 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 ba. Did you get two circles? Let's try it one more time. Bum, ba, ba, bum, 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 bum. Bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, 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 ba. Okay, now this time, the ultimate challenge. Can you do one circle for the entire song. This is super slow mo. All right, here we go. Bum ba ba bum 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 ba ba bum bum ba 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 ba. Did you get it? Did you get one circle? Let's try the other arm one more time. Bum ba ba bum 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 ba ba bum bum ba 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 ba. One big circle. Okay, I'm gonna do some tonal patterns. I'd like you to sing them back, please. Do, so, so, la, so, fa, mi, re, ti, do. I'll come a little closer so you can see my hands better. Do, mi, so. Do, mi, so. So, re. So, re. Ti, so. Ti, so. So me do, so me do. Now I'm gonna sing a song called Dutch Folk Dance. While we do this, would you help me pack really strong macro beats in the air? Remember, your macro beats are your big beats. Do so so la so fa mi re ti do. Here we go. Pum ba 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 ba. Can you help me sing the resting tone? Now we're going to do prancing colt. Prancing colt is a chant. I'm going to find it over here. While we do prancing colt, can you move like a horse prancing around the room? I'll do the best that I can while I chant at the same time. Here we go. Let's do it one more time because that was so short. You know, now that I think about it, a horse doesn't <laughs> jump up and down like a rabbit. Maybe a horse goes like that. So I hope your horse move looked more like a horse than mine did. All right, now we're gonna do Scotty. For Scotty, I'd like you to do your own dance, and then I'm gonna chant some parts of this song. So you do your own dance. Remember, a Scotty is a dog. So ti re re mi re do ti la fa so. Okay, so this time I'm going to chant just the macro beats of the song. These are the big beats. So you do whatever move that you want that fits with the big beats of the song. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Did you notice those weren't all the same? Some of them were longer and some of them were shorter. Kind of felt uneven. Now we're going to move to the micro beats. The micro beats might feel all the same. I'm going to chant the micro beats. Can you do a move that makes sense with the micro beats? Those were much.
much more even. Okay, now we're going to do Dalmatian Dance. This is our last song before we come to the keyboard. Can you please help me stomp a foot at the beginning of the phrase and then keep moving in a continuous fluid way? So stomp and float while we have this song. La do mi mi fa mi re do ti so la. Now if you just take a quick look here, make sure I've got the right song in my head. Yep. All right, here we go. Stomp and float. Ba 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 and help me sing the resting tone all right now we're going to come to the piano and we're going to improvise some music to our story so if you were in my class not too long ago, we wrote a story. We wrote it down on page 22 in the book. The story that we wrote most recently was called Animal Antics. And we talked about funny things that different animals that we know are around have done. So I'm going to make up something for the first line because I didn't write down the story in my book. And if you notice, again, my page is going to be backwards. But if you notice, there are things you can circle for each line. So you have something written down in this top line. I'm going to say that my first line is, my cat plays with strings. Oh, and it's so fun to watch too. So I'm going to decide if I think my cat playing with strings should be in the low part of the keyboard, in the middle part of the keyboard, or in the high part of the keyboard. Remember, it looks backwards to you. So the part that looks like the low part is actually the high part and vice versa. So ignore how it looks on the piano. Then I'm going to decide if that should be loud or soft, if that should be fast or slow, and then if my rhythm should be do day do day or do da di do da di. So I'm going to pick one. For mine, I'm going to do, I think my cat playing with string should be right about here, in this area. It's going to be soft, it's going to be fast, and it's going to be do da di do da di. All right, here I go. Oh, like the cat's batting the string back and forth. Or I could do do da di do da di. The cat's trying to pounce on the string. Let's see, what else could I do? Like we have the cat going back and forth. So you can make up several parts to this first line of the story, or you can just make up one and then go to the next line. When you go to the next line, notice that under the rhythm chant, your choices have changed. You can do do day do or do da di do da di. So you just pick which rhythm you like. Under the third line, you can do do day do day or do da di do. So just use those rhythms that are there. And when we have our group class check-in, I want to hear the music that you've come up with for some of these lines of the story. All right, now we're going to learn as much as we can via this format to play the green caterpillar. And I'll get back to it in my book here. Okay, so if you look in your book on page 25, you're going to find the green caterpillar. Again, mine is backwards. Notice that it shows you, you have some arrows going both directions. The arrow by the S 
which is the opposite side of where it looks on my page, is where you're going to start. The note all the way on the other side, that's where you're going to turn around. Remember when we did our waterfall down and turn around? Our caterpillar is going to turn around right where that other arrow is. And then all the way over on the set of two black keys, that's where our first phrase is going to stop. Right here. That's our last note of our first phrase. It actually looks backwards from yours, so it'll look like it's over here. So I'm going to show you the first phrase or the first part. And can you listen while I play for four sets of do da di? It's going to be do da di, do da di, do da di, do da di. It'll go like this. Do da di, do da di, do da di, do da di. That's our first phrase. So we start right where the S is. We go all the way over to where our arrow is that goes the other way, and then we come back right to where I drew that circle. Let's do it again. Do da di, do da di, do da di, do da di. And actually, it says to play slowly. So I'm going to start one more time, and I'm going to give myself some do da dies before I begin, so I really can make sure to play it slowly, like my caterpillar crawling along on my arm. Do da di do ready play. Do da di do da di do da di do da di. Now I'm going to play the whole piece and think about the second phrase. Is it the same or is it different? Do da di do da di. Just like we had before when we had the waterfall coming down and then we bounce at the end, that caterpillar is going to stop and finish our chant with do. It's going to be different. Okay, so for the second one, if you remember where our S was, again it's backwards, if you remember where the S was, all the way on the other side, right where our turnaround note was, that's where do is going to be. Do, da, di, do. I'm going to spend some time over there. So we're going to do just the second phrase, starting way back where the S was. Do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di, do. Now notice, when I'm at the keyboard, I have my bench set so that if my hands are right here on the fall board, then that's about how far away I'm sitting. You could do that at home. If you don't have a fall board, you can kind of put your fists and see where the end of the keys are. Otherwise, you can stand at the keyboard. I am just too tall to make standing really easy for me, but you are probably the perfect height to stand at the keyboard. So you can stand or sit, and then when you use your arms, try to make sure that you're not like this, you're not really close to your body, your arms are loose and free like that caterpillar, and your hand is nice and round, making a nice round shape. Your fingers that aren't playing are just going to rest. All right, we're going to play the whole song one more time. Do, da, di, do, here I go. Do, da, di, do, da, di, do. help with that song, we'll look at that together when we have our group class check-in. So the other thing I'd like you to do when you're at home is what we usually get to do when we're together. I'd like you to draw a picture of some worms and some caterpillars. Now we really didn't get to talk about how a worm is different from a caterpillar. Think about the worms that you see outside. Think about how they're long and skinny. They're brown. They're kind of 
pointy on each end. Now think about the caterpillars that you get to see outside. They're shorter, maybe much smaller than the worms. They're kind of round, kind of a round shape. And when they walk, well, they don't really walk, but when they crawl, they make that kind of inching sort of crawl versus a worm just kind of wiggles back and forth like this. Or maybe the worm scrunches itself up and then leans out and scrunches up and leans out. It's kind of similar, except the worm goes sideways and the caterpillar can go up and down. So draw some pictures of different types of worms and caterpillars, and please show me your picture when we have our group class check-in. All right, thank you so much for being in our class today. I'll sing the goodbye song, and then we'll be all done. Bye, bye, goodbye.